What's up you guys Jason Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create Instagram ads for beginners So I'm going to go through a few of the specs right here And then we're going to jump on to Facebook and actually go through and create the Instagram ads because Facebook they bought Instagram a few years back and then they just kind of Im Implemented the whole Instagram advertising platform into the Facebook ads manager And so we'll show you guys how to set that up. So real quick guys We just want to cover some specs on setting up your Instagram ads So if you go here, I just did a quick Google search of saying like Instagram ad uh, Video links because you can do images you could do multiple images so you can like swipe through like you're doing on Instagram Right or you can even do videos like you can see this little um, I think it's la la land la la land video and then you can see like different placements so Instagram stories see the specs. So if you're using a video just on the Instagram news feed right here, you can see the video length has to be 1 to 60 seconds. Okay, so it's longer than that, they won't actually allow you to run the ad on Instagram. Okay, so then they come come down here and show you some different technical requirements. So if you go to facebook.com or what I would do is I would just Google Instagram ad video length or something like that and it was the first search result That's how I kind of found this page right now We want to go through and check out the Instagram stories because for those of you guys who would use Instagram You know you've got the feed and then they kind of copied snapchat a few years back or maybe a year or So I can't remember the exact time frame, but you've got the stories at the top Okay, so it's pretty cool because you as you're going through clicking through your stories You can actually show up an ad right there and just you know, it's it's a little bit more um, in, in people's face, I guess. So, kind of cool. But if you look at this, you can only have a video for one to fifteen seconds, right? So, you want to probably shoot a different video based off of where the placement is, and make it specific to what's actually happening. And uh, anyway, so I just want to hit that really quick. Now let's jump over to Facebook. I'm going to show you guys how to go through and get into the ads manager and set up these ads on Instagram Right, so we're gonna either come over here to the ads manager under the explore tab on the left hand column Or you can come up here to the drop down right arrow and we're just gonna say create ads Okay, so we're gonna come in here. It's gonna take us into the Facebook ads manager And we're just gonna do start over and let's just say you're at the initial ads manager that that kicked me in right into creating an ad but let's say we're starting completely from scratch. So we're gonna go through and um, Let me just exit out some of these things. So we're gonna go through and create a new campaign All right, so we're gonna say creates a campaign and it's gonna first ask us. What is our marketing objective? Okay, so just like Facebook this is the same exact thing, but it's for Instagram. Okay, so like what objective do we want to? Um, accomplish do we want people to watch our video we want people to click to our blog or our website do you want to generate leads like what do we really want to get at okay? So for this example, let's just say we want people to click to our website or our blog So we're gonna click on traffic for right here And then we'll just give it a quick name name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna say Instagram Demo Okay, and so we'll hit continue there and then we can give this ad set a name This is where we're gonna go through and choose the targeting who we want to actually target and this is where we're gonna tell Facebook that hey We don't want it to just show up on Facebook we want to show, show up on Instagram or show up on Instagram and Facebook You can choose both or choose one or the other okay, and we'll show you guys how to do that here in a second So we're gonna say Instagram Advertising Demo okay, just type that in right there real quick And so we're gonna come down. We're gonna choose the audience right for right now. I'm uh, I don't know let, Let's just say we're we're gonna target New York City. Okay, New York City Let's see it popped it right there New York New York. Okay, so then we could do uh, let's say we'll do a 10 mile radius within New York See 9 million people and then we could go and target. Let's say we're doing a 25 to 65 and um, people that like basketball, okay So now it's gonna drop down to 1.8 million and Then what we're gonna do this is where the whole Instagram advertising placements comes into play where you want to make sure that you're choosing this right so uh, Facebook by default is going to say automatic placements and it's going to show up on every possible place that Facebook can show your ad So Facebook newsfeed Facebook messenger Instagram um, Instagram stories uh, their audience network There's a whole bunch of different options But what you want to do is you want to specifically target either the Instagram stories or the Instagram newsfeed So you want to click on edit placements come down and this is kind of cool guys like although Instagram is pretty much primarily used on your mobile phone You can actually determine what device like if you want to say hey mobile only or Desktop only 
or what I would probably do is just leave it as all devices just because there's probably not gonna be a lot of people on desktop that are gonna be going through and searching through Instagram but who knows it can happen okay so now what we're gonna do is what we what we can do is go through and uncheck all of Facebook we can uncheck all of audience network uncheck all of messenger home and we just choose um, Instagram feeds okay so now if we come back over here if we remember if we go to the Instagram feed we can have a video for up to 60 seconds long all right whereas with um, if we do the stories we have to do it at least it has it can be a maximum of 15 seconds okay so based off of your creative like whether you're using a video or image you can still use an image right it's it's not a problem but if you're gonna go through and say you want to show the video on your stories and on the news feed it has to be able to match both of those so like it has to be less than 15 seconds and if it's longer then it's not gonna be able to show up on the stories it's only gonna be on the news feed okay so sometimes if you're really gonna get detailed into your advertising on Instagram maybe what you want to do is shoot a different video for the Instagram story that's less than 15 seconds okay it's kind of just like more of a quick hit and then um, the news feed you can have a little bit longer video if you're like let's say you're in real estate and doing an open house and going through and showing that whereas with stories um, if you're doing an open house maybe you just got your camera up to your face and say hey Jason Wardrop here we're doing an open house on this day hope to see you there swipe up because you can actually have them swipe up and click the link and I'll send you more of the details okay so those are kind of the different things whereas like on your news feed if you have 60 seconds you can give a little bit more um, run through of the actual whole, whole home there so um, that's kind of the differences here um, for this example we'll just choose them both and you can so guys get this you can go through and choose Instagram and click on Facebook and choose multiple um, choose all these different platforms or you can create a an advertising campaign just targeting Instagram and another one just targeting Facebook so you can kind of see that split test and see the results of how things convert on one versus how they convert on the other all right so we'll see on um, both of those for right now you can see 1.4 million people and we'll come down we can choose a budget we can do a daily budget we can do a lifetime budget so like if you want to just kind of say hey I'm gonna spend 10 bucks a day 20 bucks a day five bucks a day whatever or you're like I only have a lifetime budget of um, let's say $100 I want to spend oh that's thousand hundred dollars and I want to spend that over the next month right so then you can kind of say hey spent set a start and end date and obviously That'll kind of, I mean, it won't necessarily spend exactly like $3 per day. What Facebook does is they'll start taking the look at the data, and after the first week, they'll say, okay, Tuesdays and Fridays actually perform better. So then the following weeks, they'll save up more of the budget for those specific days. Okay, so if you're doing a lifetime budget and it's not all spending evenly, consistently, don't worry, they will spend it, but they're trying to optimize it for you. Whereas if you're doing a daily budget, they will shoot to spend let's say ten dollars a day every single um, day okay so now just coming down link clicks we can just leave that as is um, the difference between link clicks and landing page views just really quick if you're brand new to this whole Instagram advertising or Facebook advertising so link clicks is if they they have the ad and they click on the link that counts as a link click and the difference between that and the landing page view um, if let's say somebody's on their mobile device and they're like on the subway or something like that They don't get a lot of really good service and they click it that counts for the link clicks But maybe if the page doesn't fully load Then they didn't really even see what you're trying to get them to click on right? So if you want to go through and optimize a little bit deeper and say hey I only want to go I want to optimize for people that are actually gonna get landing page views so they click the link and the page actually loads that's a little bit farther into things and so you're, you're gonna get a little bit better results so obviously you can go through optimize for either one of those um, we'll just leave that link clicks for right now and then we'll just hit continue and then from here we can go through and create our Instagram post okay and uh, what you want to do typically is add an account add your Instagram account okay so you just hit add an account and you put in your login credentials right there you can add an existing account create a new account whatever it might be okay and then as you're going through you can go and add the image you can add the you know a carousel would basically be multiple images so like someone who like can swipe you know how like they have the new feature where like you can see a post and add like five or ten photos or whatever it is you can swipe through all the different images the videos like we mentioned 
you want to have 15 seconds or less if it's on the Instagram stories 60 seconds or less on the actual newsfeed okay so we'll go through we'll choose add an account or you can say if you don't have an Instagram account or you don't want to you if you want to use a separate one you can say hey this is my Facebook business page I want to run things from and use the selected Facebook page as the Insta like up uh, as the the profile on Instagram okay so that's that's what I'll just leave there or as I mentioned you guys can add in your Instagram account there log in so it's directly from that account and then let's say you're going through upload a video you just click that plus button or upload video right here or we can say browse library let's see I think okay that one's 50 seconds long this one's 10 seconds long so this one can go in both stories right there so like this is kind of a quick video of this home so we can go have this on the story we can have this on the news feed on both of those and then throw in the website URL of where you want to send these people to so like let's say it's google.com obviously it's not you would probably want to send them to an actual landing page to get some leads or your website or whatever but you're, you're able to see like a quick preview of what this is gonna look like okay so you can see right here this is the Instagram feed and then um, okay story media as aspect ratio has to be smaller than equal okay so this is this is another key point that you can see the specs right over here so if you're doing the Instagram stories you can see it's more of like that vertical like how that layout is so you need to match that so that the the ratio is the same as that for when you're doing a story okay so um, what I would need to do is go back in and see how this is more of that horizontal view we need to make it more it's the same ratios to uh, fit on the Instagram stories there okay which is fine it's totally fine for right now we're just gonna continue on with this and then we come in here um, type your text this is basically just like the the text that would be in your post kind of the, your typical thing you can see that right there and then uh, you could do learn more apply now hit all these different types of contact or call to action buttons right here I'm just gonna do learn more I'm just gonna leave it at that because I like I don't know it's not like super in your face like sign up down no buy, buy now or anything like that just learn more is kind of more of that discovery phase and then we come down here and that's pretty much it you hit confirm and you are set ready to go and you're going through showing that ad to the specific people you targeted and with the specific budget that you chose and then you're able to go see how many clicks and all that stuff inside the ads manager happened from that post okay so you can see how much it costs for someone to go through and click to your website how much it costs for people to go through and like or, or comment on the post all those different options inside the ads manager all right so anyway guys hopefully this was helpful as a quick little um, Instagram advertising tutorial for complete beginners just kind of get you that foundation of going through and setting up your ads with Instagram whether it's on the stories or the Instagram newsfeed so if you guys found this video helpful go ahead give it a thumbs up also comment down below if you guys have any questions and I'm happy to answer every single one of the questions I like to go through and respond to every comment of people make on my channel here and if you're brand new here my name is Jason Wardrop and I launch a new video every single day on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business so go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I go live I'm gonna start doing live trainings which is gonna be super fun for you for me for everyone and so anyway make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you all tomorrow